Hello and welcome again. Uh, this week I wanted to do a review of the book that I just finished. It's called The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. And uh, this is a book about super string theory. It was also done as a special on Nova. This is my cat Horatio. He, uh, I just got home so he's a bit uh, starved for some loving. But uh, it's a book about uh, super string theory and it goes all the way from the beginning of physics from like uh, Newtonian physics all the way up to uh, you know Albert Einstein's theories of uh, relativity to uh, many of the ideas about uh, quantum physics and how they don't mesh together how quantum physics doesn't really mesh with uh, general relativity um, you know what pertains for the large doesn't always pertain for the small and uh, yeah stop messing with that buddy and then, uh, and then it goes on to uh, what is called uh, string theory, super string theory, or what has now become as uh, M theory, which comprises six different uh, super string theories all into one. And it shows that they're actually not different theories, but they're all just interconnected and they're all just looking at the same thing a different way, which I thought was fascinating. This book was amazing. Um, I thought this was going to take me a while to read, but actually I went right through it really quickly and uh, all the information on it was easy to comprehend. The, the best thing that I like about um, Brian Greene's writing is that he always uses um, some kind of simple analogy. It's almost like, you know, like the Star Trek, you know how Star Trek always does like this complicated plan and then they have a simple analogy to explain it. That's a lot the way that, uh, a lot of the way that uh, many of the things are, uh, explained in this book. Uh, there were, you know, some of the things that I knew to be true, you know, many of the ideas about uh, general relativity, about the ideas of uh, space and time warping. I knew this to be true, but I didn't exactly know why. This book told me why, and it gave me a great, beautiful analogy to explain it, made my little artist mind be able to comprehend it, you know. <laughs> so, it was beautiful. I mean, I say beautiful a lot, but I mean, that is one of the th really interesting things to me about uh, super string theory or M theory is that it seems to be uh, moving towards a more elegant, more beautiful interpretation of the universe. And everything seems to be very symmetrical. Uh, all things seem to have dualities, which is something as an artist I find very fascinating. Uh, one of the really fascinating things that I really uh, got into about this book was the idea of multiple dimensions. Uh, you know, of course, we have three dimensions. You, you're watching this on the screen, and it's a two-dimensional image. But here I am in three dimensions, you know, of height, width, depth, you know, all those kinds of ideas, the three dimensions. But according to M theory, there are almost 11 dimensions. In fact, M theory almost requires that there be 11 dimensions. So this would mean that there's little dimensions right here on the tip of my fingertip, you know, curled up, up on in on itself. So there's actually 11 dimensions. Um, we just can only interpret four, you know, the three spatial dimensions and then time as the other dimension. Um, this, this book just opened up so many things in my brain that I had been thinking about for a long time, but I couldn't really grasp them, you know, on a physical reality. I've, I've read quite a few of uh, other uh, physics books. I've read Stephen Hawking's In the Nutshell in the Universe. I loved that book a lot too. I'd recommend that book as well. But the thing about uh, the Nutshell in the Universe is that it, it kind of just explains that these things are true and it explains why in general physical terms, but it doesn't give as great of analogies as I thought as uh, the elegant universe. Um, the elegant universe, I mean, they were, one of the best analogies for me was about the idea of time warping as you accelerate towards the speed of light. And I wasn't, you know, I understood that it happened, but I didn't really understand why. And this book went into it completely for me. I understand it completely. And, you know, I'm almost at the point where I'm like, hey, give me those uh, equations. Let me work them out. But... Math was never my strongest subject. That's why I'm an artist. But uh, this book was awesome. And like I said, I'll put up all the uh, all the Elegant Universe uh, parts from Nova that I can find on YouTube on my favorites. If 
any of you are interested in uh, physics and super string, super string theory, I definitely check them out and definitely read this book. You know, I think the book is almost more, um, more for people who want to uh, use this as a stepping stone for other places to go, which is kind of what I wanted to do with it because I wanted... I wanted to investigate more about these ideas of like five dimensional, six dimensional, 11 dimensional objects uh, because as an artist, as a sculptor, I want to try and find a way to interpret these, you know, multi-dimensional objects in a three dimensional space. So that's uh, my challenge for this fall, but definitely read this book. It was great. Brian Green is uh Probably the best physics writer that I've ever read, and I've read quite a few, like I said. But it's just the way that everything is so simplified for, you know, it's written for the masses. It's, but at the same time, too, it, it has a detailed notes, it has all of the sources, so that if, you know, you find something that you are more interested in than the book and you want to get more information, he puts the information in the back so you can look it up and research it. It's a lot like a textbook, but... It doesn't read like one, which was great. And he has a very good sense of humor, too, which I thought was awesome. Uh, another good thing about this book was that it went into a bit of the history about uh, developing quantum theory, about developing relativity, about developing um, M theory. And he, you know, he puts his role into it that he had into it, too. But he definitely, you know, praises some of the, the other physicists that are out there, especially Witten. Uh, that's one he prices a lot. You know, if you watch in the Nova special, you'll see that as well. Uh, this is the book that I'm currently reading right now. It's The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. I'm sure many people have read this book. I've read it already once before when I was a teenager, but it had been so long ago, so long ago, uh, that I wanted to uh, read it again, and uh, I had to go out buy a new copy. And I wanted to read it again just because I had forgot so much about this book. And I just finished uh, 1984 about a month ago, and I was starting to get back into my science fiction phase and uh, reading more science fiction again. So that'll be the book that I do next week, but everybody go out, buy The Elegant Universe, or watch the Nova specials. Uh, quantum theory has direct implications with our lives. Uh, string theory, if this is true... This will revolutionize the world, and we will finally get the TOE, the theory of everything. So, go out and read.